So today I want to tell you about one particular extended phenotype, and that is um, burrows. Now, burrows have um, evolved in a number of different lineages here. I'm just showing you a few examples. They've evolved in bivalves, in ant um, colonies, um, in prairie dogs, for example. And the fact that it's evolved independently multiple times suggests that it has um, a function. So what are the function of burrows? Well, burrows, of course, can be used for a number of different reasons, and I just want to provide you with a few examples. Um, uh, and these uh, reasons can affect fitness. They're the ability of an organism to survive and reproduce. So um, burrows can be important for predator avoidance, be important for thermoregulation, or if those species, let's say, meet and mate underground, they can be important for social interactions and also food uh, storage or growth. So we know that um, burrows can have fitness effects, um, but the other reason we study burrows is because we have some hints that uh, genes may be important in the production of burrows and importantly in the differences between the size and shape of burrows. And this goes back to work done by Carol Lynch who was at the University of Colorado who was studying burrow building in laboratory mice. So what you're looking at here is an outline of um, a burrow that was excavated and here's the entrance tunnel of a particular species of mouse. And what she showed through a um, series of crosses is that different components of the burrow um, tended to be very heritable, that it is, there's uh, seem to be a genetic component. So we know that there's ecological relevance. We know that, at least in uh, laboratory mice, there seems to be a genetic component, which suggests this may be a good extended phenotype or a way to try to connect genes and behavior. The other little anecdote I want to tell you about burrows, it's one of the few behaviors that actually fossilizes. So what I'm showing you here is actually a picture of a um, fossil burrow that's produced by a now extinct beaver that built these burrows in this um, very stereotypical corkshoe uh, shape. 